Hi, this is a six part series learning how to visualize data in Postman. We just added a visualizer, added a layout, and passed data from our API. In this video, we're going to make our visualization a little bit prettier. Let's head over to Postman and move on to step five in our get started folder. We have a working vis visualization, but it's not very pretty and it's not very useful. So far, we've added a tiny bit of JavaScript and HTML to our layout template. There's a couple more steps that we could take to really polish it up. We can add more HTML. We can add CSS using style tags or a link to external style sheets from inside this template string. Or we can add JavaScript interactions or bring in external libraries using script tags inside the template string. Let's go ahead and add some HTML and CSS to our template string. In this example, I'm going to add paragraph tags and then CSS enclosed in style tags to style my paragraph elements. Hit send and see how our visualization has changed. It's a little bit prettier. Go ahead and right click on the visualization and select inspect vis visualization from um, to open the developer tools. In this window, you can inspect elements in your HTML visualization, log console statements from within your defined template, and dig deeper into what's going on. In the previous video, we looked at the Postman console to log statements from under the script tabs. In order for us to gain visibility into log statements written from within the template string, we can use this DevTools console here. Under the Elements tab of the DevTools, select an HTML element, and update the CSS under styles to see real-time updates to our HTML. Neat. Let's try adding more JavaScript next. In this video, we added HTML and CSS to our template string. We also took a look at developer tools for more visibility into our template string when we're styling and debugging. Coming up next, let's step it up just a little bit and make a line graph of this time series data using JavaScript and Chart.js. 